Welcome to Quick Take Movie Review. Here's a detailed review of Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scargiver, starring Sophia Boutella, Mikhail Hausman, Ed Skrine, and directed by Zack Snyder. Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scargiver picks up where its predecessor, A Child of Fire left off, as the central characters gear up for an epic battle against Motherworld. Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scargiver strives earnestly to emulate the epic scope and emotional depth of Seven Samurai set in a futuristic space setting. However, despite its best efforts, it falls short of even approaching the brilliance of its cinematic predecessor. The film's first half languishes in prolonged exploration of the lifestyle on the farming planet, failing to captivate audiences with its meandering narrative. The characters remain disappointingly one-dimensional, with backstories that are shallow and laughable at best. Despite boasting a talented cast, including actors capable of delivering compelling performances, their potential is squandered amidst lackluster writing and uninspired direction. Action sequences, which were a saving grace in the previous installment, here feel stale and devoid of the excitement and energy that made them memorable. Any lingering hope carried over from the first film is swiftly extinguished within the opening minutes of The Scargiver. There is a notable absence of compelling storytelling or engaging character development to hold the audience's attention, leaving viewers feeling disconnected and indifferent to the fates of the central characters. Even as pivotal moments unfold and central characters meet their demise, there is a distinct absence of emotional resonance, leaving viewers cold and unmoved. With a runtime of 120 minutes, the film feels unnecessarily drawn out, lacking substance to justify its extended duration. Adding insult to injury, The Scargiver concludes with groundwork laid for further installments, leaving audiences feeling shortchanged after investing four hours into the combined experience of both films. Ultimately, Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scargiver offers little reward for viewers, delivering a disappointing sequel that fails to live up to its potential. In conclusion, The Scargiver fails to break free from the shortcomings of its predecessor, offering little improvement in terms of compelling storytelling or memorable moments. Approach with caution and watch at your own risk, as it may disappoint once again. For those intrigued by similar plotlines and sensibilities of the movies listed here, Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scargiver may work. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quick take reviews and recommendations. Peace to all.